The southwest of England is an important industrial centre for key industries such as power, waste, cement, manufacturing, logistics, aerospace and defence. But our leading businesses have an important challenge ahead of them. How do they transform to meet the government's net zero targets and contribute to a new low carbon economy? Businesses in and around the region emit over 8 million tonnes of carbon dioxide a year, adding to climate change. Some of those emissions are extremely hard to abate. We need to find a way to transition those industries towards a new carbon-free future. This is why 7CO2, the seven-side carbon capture and shipping hub, was established to allow major businesses in the southwest to decarbonise. Centred at Avonmouth, 7CO2 is a new hub that will allow large businesses to capture their carbon dioxide and pipe or rail it to Avonmouth docks. There, the CO2 will be liquefied, stored and shipped to geological storage, permanently removing that carbon from the atmosphere. Businesses at the hub alone emit over 2 million tonnes of CO2 a year, generating regional power and incinerating waste. Carbon capture technology will capture the carbon dioxide and pipe it to 7CO2 at Bristol Port for collection and storage. 7CO2 is working closely with a number of major partners. Carbon capture is central to Viridor's decarbonisation strategy. We're already progressing CCS at Runcorn, which processes a million tonnes of waste a year and emits a million tonnes of carbon dioxide. Our next challenge is to roll out the introduction of CCS across our fleet to all of our plants not lucky enough to be located next to a CCS pipeline. 7CO2 will allow us to introduce CCS at three of our largest plants, here at Avonmouth by pipeline to the port and from Cardiff and in time from Ardley in Oxfordshire by rail. Here at Bristol Port, we'll host the 7CO2 hub. We have an ideal site, not only adjacent to the dock to allow easy shipment of the CO2, but also with direct access to our rail facilities, which will enable decarbonisation of dispersed sites in the wider region. Bristol Port has a long history of supporting both regional and national industry and ironically, much of our past success was built on importing coal to supply power stations. With 7CO2, this will be reversed, with regional emitters sending their CO2 back to the port. Petrofac has completed a concept design for 7CO2's CO2 pipeline and facilities for import, liquefaction and intermediate storage at the port. 7CO2 will collect compressed CO2 gas via pipeline from neighboring emitters and liquid CO2 via rail from dispersed ones. Imported gaseous CO2 is cooled, liquefied and stored in eight insulated pressure vessels visible bottom right of the plot. These buffer vessels accommodate logistics for shipping CO2 to its final geological storage site. The modular design with 2,000 meter cube vessels allows 7 co 2 facilities to be developed in phases matching captured CO2 volumes and making the hub more affordable from the outset. The 7 co 2 hub is right at the dock to directly load CO2 onto 12,000 ton ships. Again, shipping investment is modular. We have a clear path from shipping two to eight million tonnes a year. Decarbonising the power sector is the first step towards delivering net zero for the UK. CCS can be used to capture the vast majority of emissions at power stations like Seabank, ensuring that we can continue to deliver flexible, reliable power across the region when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine. 7CO2 will have several options as to where we ship our CO2. 
but we have been working closely with Storega and the Acorn store to develop the details. We are Europe's leading logistics company for bulk liquid products and a key player in Britain's energy industry, handling the fuel that supplies the UK major airports at Heathrow, Gatwick, Stansted and Manchester. The 7 CO2 hub has a fantastic potential for the development of new sustainable, carbon neutral fuels that we can transport across the UK for use in transport. So 7 CO2 is not just about the introduction of carbon capture to large emitters. Together with our partners in the West of England industrial cluster, both public and private sector, we've been awarded a grant to develop a local industrial decarbonisation plan for the whole region. This means all regional industry will benefit from the heat, power, hydrogen and fuels that 7CO2's partners could produce. West of England people are at the heart of the climate emergency fight back. We're exploring carbon capture, hydrogen, getting energy from flooded mines, wind and tidal projects. Companies are investing in the West of England, including over a billion pounds to introduce carbon capture into the 7CO2 hub. Working together, the public and private sectors must ensure a just transition as we strive to reach higher standards with the environment. So, as you've seen, 7CO2 is an integrated project combining large local emitters with regional businesses and rail providers who have the capacity, the experience and the rolling stock to transport carbon dioxide to the port at scale. Over 50 businesses have visited the site with a combined potential to capture over 8 million tonnes of carbon dioxide. So after a slow start, um, carbon capture utilisation and storage in the UK has made significant progress this year and the first wave of projects are close to taking their final investment decisions. But we also know from surveying our members and industry around the UK that there are around 10 times as many projects as are in those track one negotiations who want to have access to carbon capture utilisation and storage. For those projects, they may need other types of transport for CO2, such as road, rail or ship. 7CO2 uh, is a great example of one of these hubs, a cluster of emitters who want to have shared CO2 transport options uh, because they are not close by to a CO2 store. Um, they potentially could open up uh, uh, their region for a large number of businesses to decarbonise. Uh, and demonstrate the effectiveness of both CO2 shipping and rail transportation. The South West has huge potential, not just to decarbonise, but to be a hub for investment in green technologies, synthetic fuels and green products. Working with local authorities, leading businesses, Bristol Port and stores like Acorn, 7CO2 is ready to be at the centre of that investment challenge, investing in the carbon capture hub that will enable so much local and regional investment. Ready to make the South West a leader in the energy transition. <laughs>